A number of years ago, we started a program called the Community Paramedicine Program that's going to eventually serve 99 communities across BC. 99 communities that have limited access to health care. Communities that rely heavily on the ambulance service. A lot of people access the health system through 911. It would be uh, much more beneficial for patients to be able to be seen prior to something becoming an emergency, a medical emergency. How do we support people to stay at home uh, in their communities and not have to come to the hospital? How do we be proactive? And community paramedics have become an, an essential part of that. Grand Isle is very remote, yeah, yeah. This is an older community. The average age is about 65. There's approximately three to 700 people in this area. The nearest hospital is an hour, an hour and 10 minutes away, depending on how, how you're going. Every call I go to is someone I know, someone I'm related to or related to someone I know. So when you go and you're always seeing these people in an emergent setting when they're always, you know, in a moment of need and they're having a really bad day, it's nice to be able to have the other experience where I can go and I can see them and, and spend time with them and help keep them happy, healthy in their homes as opposed to, you know, that dark rainy night when they're really not feeling well. It's a very rewarding a very rewarding experience. More and more seniors that would have had to go elsewhere for healthcare are getting it here. So I'm going to give that credit to the community a paramedic program. We try and build that connection for them that they feel like there's people there that care about them so that they can live at home healthier and happier and safer. In other words, seniors get to stay in place and when they can stay, so can their families. It brings stability to the community. People can bring their families, they can raise their families here. That then in turn stabilizes both our healthcare system and our education system. Yeah. You know, it, you it, feel a little bit short of breath there, right? Yeah, it, 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 you know, it, you, you just sit down and you try not to use your puffer. Did you start taking that medication? Yeah, I've been taking it and so far the last, uh, since the last time it happened, we haven't had any more problems. I, I just wish everyone in the entire world was like Chris. He's just perfect for the job. Through interactions like these, the Community Paramedicine Program is helping to close gaps in healthcare. Anytime somebody comes and talks to you about your health and activities and encourages you is beneficial. It's the same um, relationship as a coach with an exercise class. And genuinely there are people who are confused about their health conditions. We see people, especially with diabetes, um, who get confused or don't fully understand their uh, medicines and how to use them and how to monitor their blood sugars and what it all means. The benefit is that they come to you. Doctors don't do house calls anymore generally. Uh, because of the capacity, there just, there, there just is no capacity. So when a paramedic can use their training to go to the house and, and do some of the diagnostics and report back to the physician or the nurse practitioner and be part of that team and then affect the treatment and the health of that patient. And through those exchanges, relationships are being formed. You get some of the elders that come in and they don't want to tell people that they're sick because they're stoic and, and it's kind of intrusive and they're not used to that kind of thing so and they don't want to worry families so when you can gain the trust and they're willing to talk to you it's a huge huge step especially coming from out of community. When you walk through the door and their face lights up because they see you coming and they're really looking forward to your visit uh, it's a pretty cool feeling. And therein lies the magic of the community paramedicine program. Trust. Trust that is earned over time by consistently showing up. And that's when the patients open up. We were able to realize that she's palliative and she's not on the palliative programming. And the doctor thought she was on it, home support thought she was on it, and it didn't sort of um, get caught that she wasn't on the program. Their ability to identify this with her allowed us to open doors and allowed her to access the palliative care program to help with her pain medications, to allow her to have extra benefits. When you're living alone and, you're, and you have a chronic illness, it's just comforting to know that they will be here, you know, once a week and, and, and more if I need them and I can always call them. 
it's just, it's just a, a comfort to know that. Providing seniors and their families with a sense of security that someone is close at hand to attend to their ongoing health care needs is central to the community paramedicine program. They diagnosed me with diabetes. She keeps track of it and lets me know it, when it's time to, to see the doctor. My father passed away from cancer and Cheryl just lived around the corner from them and she was there for everything I needed her for. If it wasn't for Cheryl, just someone to talk to in the community too. She's an excellent, excellent person. It adds up to changes in scope for paramedics. As community paramedics, they have quickly become part of an integrated healthcare community. Our um, interprofessional team meets every morning. We have huddles for 15 minutes and we discuss some of our most vulnerable patients. Our community paramedics also attend our huddle. And with those people we have discussed as a team, who do we see would benefit from the community paramedics actually attending their home? This new uh, addition to our model with the community paramedics has allowed us to reach into a population that we weren't able to reach before. We've been including them in weekly meetings to, uh, you know, review uh, with the team how clients are doing, do we have to change the care plan at all, and we see them as a vital part of the healthcare team. Um, we realized that Ab was um, having some difficulty at home, his wife is his sole caregiver. Um, so I met with the nurses at our local clinic and made kind of a care plan. Um, to start visiting him more regularly, um, educating him on his medications. One of his confusions is, why do I take these medications? The other piece that the community paramedics brings is that touch point on the street. In partnership with the community paramedics, we have a lot more opportunity for outreach to individuals who uh, don't have addresses, who perhaps live on the street or who are couch surfing. The community paramedicine role has changed the nature of paramedicine. Now, Rather than transporting the patient to the hospital, the CP works with health authorities, community nurses, and seniors to provide services in the home. They're also conducting CPR sessions, naloxone workshops, and running wellness events in their communities. It's whatever the town needs at, yeah, at whatever time. A lot of working in coordination with other community members, um, health authorities, um, a real conglomeration of everybody working together. You know, like today we're going to go over and do some CPR with the, over at the seniors community. Okay, should we get going? So with blood pressures, it's much more important to pay attention to trends. It's 76, that's good. And then it says pulse oximetry, and that's 94. So that's 94% of... Uh, oh, oxygen saturation, yeah. And so with the addition of the community paramedic program and specifically Chris, people now get more days of the week where they get access to health care that they would have never had before. Yeah, so your blood pressure is not bad, a little high. But CPs throughout the province have dramatically increased the number of touch points between those in need and our health care system. One unique and emerging way they're helping people stay at home and have better health outcomes is through home health monitoring. It's not an easy thing for you to get to the clinic. That now you're able to monitor your own blood sugars, your own um, heart rate, your, your blood pressure. Those results are going someplace so somebody can see whether or not there's a change. It's high tech, but it only happens and it only works with high touch. And that's where the community paramedic comes in. There's another side to the CP equation, retention. Renumeration for paramedics doesn't work well in rural or remote communities where there are lower call volumes. Paramedics are moving away and it's more difficult to fill the position. The CP program provides stable employment for paramedics in rural and remote BC. Uh, being able to allow some paramedics who, who have moved away from those small communities where they, their roots may be and their family is, uh, all of a sudden have a career opportunity to go back to those areas. Or there's a huge, uh, or in addition, there's a huge focus on uh, local recruitment for these positions too. Uh, and so, people that never thought that they could advance into a regular position because they didn't want to move to one of the larger centers, all of a sudden have that opportunity. So, uh, that's uh, paying off in spades. It's a program that 
provides, ensures ambulance services for rural and remote communities and provides better health care in people's homes to people with chronic diseases. What an extraordinary success and a real tribute to the commitment of our ambulance paramedics everywhere in BC.